Mm, well, hello. Aren't you looking uh, lovely this evening? Might I be your valentine? Okay, so just a heads up. If you received similar treatment from somebody else yesterday, um, avoid that person from this point on. Seriously. Dudes! I am very tired. Spent the day showing some clients some houses. Very fun, very exciting. Watching them kind of figure out what they're going to do with each house as we go through. Going to build a garage here. Going to tear this wall out and make the bathroom bigger. All these cool plans that I have no part of, but it's still exciting. One thing, though, that I'm going to pass on to you is that uh, the housing market is actually very different from what most people think it is. We're clearly in a buyer's market. I mean, nobody's going to deny that. But the thing is, is that the foreclosures on the market are going incredibly fast. Tons of investors come in and they basically, they take the inventory from the banks, give them, a, you know, a, probably 70% of what, you know, the house would be worth if the bank had time to worry about that kind of thing. And they're going to just hold on to them, you know, keep them up and maybe improve a few things. But for the most part, they're just waiting it out. They're just kind of taking that responsibility away from the bank. And it definitely provides a service to the bank. Because otherwise, you know, the, the bank would have to hire somebody to maintain the property, clean up all the trash left by the, the people that just vanished, you know, that in the house, make sure that the pipes don't freeze, keep the neighbors from coming in and just looting the place, which doesn't happen necessarily in the neighborhood that I was looking in, but it does happen. But does the bank have time to worry about that kind of stuff? No. No, the bank is not there to maintain real estate. The bank is there to distribute loans, make investments, sell to the secondary market. So the bank cares about, and that's how the bank makes it money. What that means for you and me in the practical sense is that, number one, these houses are priced very aggressively. They're meant to move fast, so the bank doesn't have to worry about that. In fact, a bank will only give that house to an agent that they know will price it well. Not necessarily really low, but well. Most agents that specialize in this kind of foreclosure activity know how to value a house to glean as, as much equity out of it as possible for the bank and yet get it to move very quickly. Number two, though, is that if you do plan on buying a foreclosure, if you know somebody who's buying a foreclosure, then manage your credit score. Get your pre-approvals all set up. Be prepared to buy on the spot. That's how fast these things are going. You've got to have a realtor that can handle that kind of thing. Look at that, a true real estate update. How often do we get those? Not very often. Now I want to quickly go over something that is really important to me, and then we'll call it quits for the day, because I'm really tired. Something huge that I discovered recently is that when I spend too much time kind of in my own psyche, kind of with my, myself, and only myself. I get really weird. Maybe I've told you that before. What I discovered last week is I, I really, really enjoy being around other people when I'm coming from this kind of servant perspective. See, it's easy to go around and just talk to people and, you know, just kind of call it a day. But when you go around and you try to find every single possible way that you can serve that person, it just makes the whole experience incredible. Not only does the relationship go deeper, but trust is actually established. Real trust. How often do you find that in just a passing relationship? And as we all know, trust is integral to helping each other do anything. Any kind of agreement, any kind of accomplishment between two people is based on trust. Boom, question of the week. I get a kick out of doing that, it's kind of fun. It's like, I feel like I'm launching a fireball. All right, question of the week, cleanse the earth. Last week I asked you if uh, it was time to change the intro. And I didn't get any comments saying that the intro should be changed. Everybody thinks that it's great and with tweaks here and there would be better, but all together it's, it's good. So I'm going to keep it, I guess. New question of the week. This is actually something very close to me because I'm feeling very, what's the word, explosive? I want to get out of this weather. If you could go one place for like a week, I'm not necessarily talking about just like spring break or something, just go somewhere for a week, forget about everything, where would you go? Put your comments in the space below. Alright guys, hope you had a good Valentine's Day, hope everything went well, hope you appreciated that person in your life. Because if you're going to celebrate Valentine's Day, please celebrate it for the correct reasons, not just because everybody else does. I will see you next week.